Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my In and Out Twist and Take Copycat version of it. Let's go. Let's get into this. So, to be honest, guys, I'll tell you this. I do not know what In and Out tastes like, but I kind of do know what In and Out tastes like by just watching a lot of reviews. So, my twist, my take on In and Out. First thing, first, ooh, braised onion. Two to three tablespoons of oil. We got four to five pieces of medium onions to the mix like this. We're gonna braise some onions. So, why are we braising onions? Guys, stop asking questions, all right? Just stop asking questions. We got Worcester sauce, two to four tablespoons of Worcester sauce, and we're gonna cook this, or we're gonna braise this on a medium heat like this, okay? Keep an eye, or a good close eye on it, because it will burn if you guys don't, all right? So take your chopstick, slur it around, and just let that caramelize, natural, all that sugar coming out, okay? Next. All right, here we go. What you guys see here? Braised onions on the side. Next, we're gonna start off with some fries. So I do have my fries cut already. Here's canola oil into the mix. It's gonna heat up for a bit. All right, here, in this beautiful basket, I have rusted potatoes cut into nice, beautiful fries. Uh, I did soak this for about two uh, types of, not two types of water, two water, just to clean up all the starch. Then I dried it. After drying it, we got canola oil heating for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're just gonna slowly add this baby in and we're gonna pre-blast this for about eight minutes, all right? Once you guys throw this in, do not touch it. Just let it pre-blanch by itself and build a nice crust, a crust, a crust around it, all right? All right, special sauce. So this special sauce consists of two heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise. We got half a teaspoon of beautiful mustard, two tablespoons of good old ketchup. We got a tablespoon of relish to the mix. We also got some shots of, ooh, hot sauce. Sprinkle a little salt to the mix and just a touch of black pepper. Mix that in and there you go. My special sauce, twist and take on it, complete. Here we go, eight minutes in. Let them fries out and let them chill for the time being. We're gonna cook them a second time just a little, crunch them up a bit. But right now, just let them chill to the next episode, all right? All right, beef here. So I got two to three ounces uh, ground beef. All we're gonna do, place it onto our flat top. You know what? This is what I'm, a little plastic uh, parchment paper and press it down. It's, it's kind of like a smash burger, but it's not a smash burger. I'm gonna hold this down for about, I wanna say one minute. Just get a nice little crust on it. Today we're gonna do a nice double double. So press down for about one minute. Just get a nice beautiful crust on it, all right? I'm gonna top it off with a little salt, a little black pepper. I'm gonna cook this for about 30 seconds on each side. Just because I put it this on a, a minute already. One minute, 30 seconds on each side, let's say that. Nice, beautiful crust on each side. All right, I'm gonna hit this up with a double cheese, and then we're just gonna stack them like so. Okay, push this to the side. We're gonna toast our buns. Kinda goofed it. I kinda want some onions right in the middle, some grilled, and some raw. Where my onion gang's at? Then I'm gonna double stack them like so, and just wait for my crust to brown or toast up. Woohoo! Time to set it up. Let's start this. So, sauce. I'm gonna do two beautiful, what is this, tomatoes? Nice leafy lettuce. Oh man. Burger and onions, like that. Want more onions on it? I actually do. Top. This, my in and out burger, my guy. Oh, this is an in about burger at Quan's house, my guy. <laughs> Wait, one sec. All right, you can't have in and out fries without animal fries. So back into the oil, let that fry up till it becomes nice and crispy, all right? You can't have beautiful in and out burger with the animal fries, right? So homemade fries, two slices of American cheese right on top, sauteed onions. Last but not least, the homemade sauce on top. Come on, let's go. Order 69, your beautiful in and out burger, homemade burger deliciousness is up my gals and wife. When are you guys gonna come by? Quick time, guys. in and out burger, my twist, my take on it. Look how delicious it is. I know my wife looking at it already. Double cheese, <laughs> then there's onions, and there's mayonnaise. Look at this, look at this, okay. My wife gets the first bite. Go ahead. Hopefully you enjoy it. Go, super proud of this. Oh. <laughs> <That's> small. 
<laughs> She's scared to open her mouth. How's it? Is it good? No. Not good? You like it? I like it. <laughs> okay, here. Not good. Not good? No. Look how this bun just... Ooh! Get that onion in there. Look how this bun just soaks up that meat. Okay, when you bite into a burger, guys, look at her bite. Look at her bite. <laughs> mean it. Super hot, guys. I'm hot, so I'm not hot. Mm-hmm. 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 What she just said right there. Good. When she opened her mouth, both of this mm. started to hurt. I think because both of this is dry. But let me tell you about this burger. I know she's not a big fan. You're not a big fan of cheeseburger, right? Mm. Another bite. Mm. It's delicious. <laughs> I think the only thing that she's scared of is just the cheese, but my guy. The double cheese makes it. So, what did you call this before when you saw it? Mm. Mm. What did you call this before when you saw it? Putin. <laughs> Say it again. Putin. <laughs> she does the poutine because of the cheese and the fries, but animal fries. Mm. Animal fries. I'm gonna give it a try first. So the animal fries has cheese, the special sauce, and the beautiful. What is this? Onion, so small bites only, right? Okay. Super for that. Give it a try. Putin. What do you think? It's sour. Sour? Yes. Yeah. It is so sour. A little sour. Okay, let me try. Let's see what she's saying. Okay, super for this. But I can't, I, I can't eat it. Try a little. I don't know where she's getting the sour from. Where are you getting the sour from? Mm. Or maybe the onion? Mm. The Worcester sauce. Mmm. The Worcester sauce kind of does give it a little sourness to it, but it's very sweet because of the onions. And the sauce gives it a little tang, and I think that's what she's, she means. You want to bite another, another of this poutine? Mm -hmm. Just a bit more of this poutine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give that one. I'll grab that one. That's delicious. Yeah. Hey, your first time ever. Okay. In America, mm. this burger is very popular. Can you eat this hamburger in America? I can eat it one, no, no, two try. Mm. Two try? Two day. Mm. In one day. Uh, in one week. And one week. In so a week, in a week. Once a week. You can yeah. eat this once a week. Two. Or twice a week. Yeah. <laughs> you can eat this twice a week. But it's pretty awesome. Mm. I want another bite of this burger. I just want to show you how delicious this burger is i think the best part of this burger i don't think my wife understands is the back end because when you bite into a burger mm -hmm. all the sauce comes to the back you want, mm -hmm. you want a piece of that back oh that's a big bite for the back <laughs> i think she knew the front will always never get this the same juice as the back here it is get it from the back it is good nice super Mm. <laughs> so what you look? Sharon is caring. From one to ten, mm. what would you rate my twist my cake um in and out burger? I afraid nine. Nine's a really good number. With burgers and fries, you need a, a bev that kinda just burns your mouth with it. Super with it. You didn't want any, right? 